Hi, I'm Dana Jay, and this is Henry Ford Health System News. Happy New Year! We're excited to bring you another year of great stories about how our team members go above and beyond for their patients, our community, and each other. We're going to start this time around at Henry Ford Medical Center Cottage, where one team member turned a photo op into an opportunity to help a patient. Henry Ford's big blue mobile mammogram bus caught Anita Miller's eye as she left her physical therapy appointment. So she pulled out her phone and snapped a photo. I have a friend who works with a breast cancer organization abroad, and I thought, oh, I'm going to take a picture and just ask her, you know, do you have something like this? Anita caught the eye of mammographer and radiologic technologist Rachel Port. I'm like, you know, is there something that I can do more for this patient? You know, and not just ignore her and let her take a picture and be on her way. Rachel didn't just move on. I was like, well, but do you need a mammogram? Because I can do it right now if you want. Turns out she did. The good thing was I had put it off. I confess I hadn't had it done in about five or six years. And so I'm like, five years? I don't know if you have a family history or not, but it doesn't matter. You need to be having a mammogram every year. So let's get you on the bus before you walk away and you don't come back for another five years. The Henry Ford Mammography Bus, which provides 3D imaging, makes regular stops around southeast and central Michigan. Cottage was added to the route in October. Jennifer Belaska is a radiology and medical imaging supervisor. When we first got the bus here, we did things very, very quickly because we were so eager to have this opportunity to have the bus come to our site. And because they know little things, like saying hello and asking a question, make a big difference. One of the things that we're taught with Henry Ford, too, is just to go above and beyond, right? We're happy to tell you that Anita Miller's mammogram came back just fine, but that doesn't mean it's okay to put it off, so if you're due, make sure you get yours. Okay, moving on. Henry Ford is on track to fully vaccinate every team member who wants the COVID-19 vaccine by the first week in February. As we're recording this in early January, more than 16,000 of our team members have already decided to roll up their sleeves. That includes CEO Wright Lasseter, who got his shot alongside Detroit Mayor Mike Duggan in December. The leaders say they understand the decision to get vaccinated is a complicated one. Wright says he rolled up his sleeve publicly because some team members basically said, you first. I've talked with a number of frontline team members, um, some uh, working in our corporate office, uh, who said to me, you know, Mr. Lasseter, I don't know about this vaccine. And I said, well, you know, next Tuesday I'm going to get the vaccine with Mayor Duggan and several other leaders, and, you know, we think it's important to, and they said, you're going to get it? And I said, well, I'm going to get it, and I, I would uh, tell you that it's safe. You should have gotten notifications through your corporate email or your MyChart account that it's your turn to get vaccinated. If you missed those notices or you changed your mind about wanting to get the vaccine, contact Employee Health. Let's give a hand to the team at Henry Ford Medical Center Bloomfield Township, where they are now performing wide awake hand surgery. Dr. Charles Day performed the clinic's very first one. Before the surgery, a hereditary condition caused Michael Moraski's fingers to be stuck in a fist. Dr. Day used a needle, as opposed to a knife, to open up Michael's fingers. And Michael talked to the doctor the whole time. He's able to provide me with instantaneous feedback, and it helps not only with the procedure, but also my rapport with the patient and uh, for him to gain confidence in what we're trying to do for him. The team at the new clinic had planned on offering wide awake hand surgery to patients soon after it opened in early 2019, but COVID slowed things down. Dr. Day says providing the service in clinic rather than at the hospital is efficient, convenient, and helps ensure patients can be treated throughout the pandemic. Michael Moraski was in and out of surgery in about 10 minutes, and he was able to drive himself home. And this is the thing of the future right here. <laughs> this is no comparison. Let's go inside the Brigada Harris Cancer Pavilion now, where patients will be surrounded by masterpieces as they receive the very best in cancer care. Curators from the Detroit Institute of Arts Inside Out program have carefully placed reproductions of some of the museum's most important works throughout the pavilion. The pieces were selected keeping in mind the physical and emotional journeys of patients and their families. Curators chose specific pieces for specific spaces. 
For example, works in waiting areas feature serene and hopeful imagery. It's all part of the Healing Arts program at the Henry Ford Cancer Institute, which uses music and art to create a soothing, positive distraction for visitors to enjoy. This time around, our featured photo comes from the culinary wellness staff at Henry Ford Macomb Hospital. The team worked with Macomb County's Meals on Wheels program to prepare 700 meals on Christmas. Their efforts made a difference for senior citizens. They also cooked 800 free holiday meals for hospital staff, all on top of a regular day's work of preparing 350 meals for patients. We want to see what you and your team have been cooking up, so send us your photos or story ideas to newstips at hfhs.org. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you around.